It's a warm late spring evening in the small Alabama town of Childersburg. Police are responding to a 911 call from a neighbor reporting she sees a young black male in a car she doesn't recognize at her neighbor's home who she knows are away. We're watching the police body cam footage. What officers find is a man holding a garden hose, watering flowers. What you doing here, man? Water flowers. Why are they saying that? Is that your vehicle? Not. It's not? It's the neighbor's vehicle. The neighbor's? 314, I'll be on 13. Okay. Yeah, you live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, they saying that this vehicle is not supposed to be here and you're not supposed to be Who's here? Who's saying that? They called about it. I don't know who I, called. I, I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. You're Pastor Jennings? Yes, I'm looking out for their house while they go. The scene quickly escalates when police demand 56-year-old Michael Jennings, a pastor of 31 years, provide some identification. Okay. Look, man, don't do this to me. You, there's a suspicious person in the yard, and if you're not one to identify yourself... I don't have to identify myself. Jennings, who at one time had trained to be a police officer and has already told police his name, his occupation, and where he lives, refuses. Man, he don't live here. I'm, I'm not saying nothing legal. about... You have no right to approach me if I ain't did nothing suspicious or nothing wrong. Moments later, when Jennings attempts to use his cell phone, he's placed in handcuffs. Uh, who called y'all? We I don't have to ID myself. You will not listen. I have a call on you. You have to identify yourself to me. As Jennings continues to protest, the lead officer appears to lose patience, and the helpful neighbor is arrested, not even allowed to tell his wife across the street. Hey, you know what? You know what? It's 10 15. 10 15. 10 15. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit there and have that, dude. No, he ain't let nothing now. Despite the officer calling him Pastor Jennings, he tells his colleagues Jennings refused to identify himself. We're here to investigate a call and he wouldn't give us his yeah. name or any other thing. Yeah, we told him he would try to call the owner, but still I need his name. You know, we, we gotta have his name. Jennings is charged with obstructing government operations. Pastor Jennings was in your yard when the police showed up on the scene, is that right? That's right. Roy Milam says Jennings has always been a great neighbor, so naturally they asked him to look after their home when they went on vacation. So yeah, we were upset about it. It, it, was, it was upsetting to know that we asked him to come out here and, they, and he got arrested for that. Harry Daniels is Jennings' attorney. He was under no obligation under the law in the state of Alabama to give his ID, nor did he have uh, uh, any other obligation to identify himself. In a recent interview with Good Morning America, Jennings said he feared for his life. I was thinking if I did something wrong or resisted that I could have been shot. So I was trying to cooperate even though I didn't understand what was going on. I was agitated. I was angry, but I knew to comply. In the police body cam footage, police speak to the woman who made the original 911 call. Now recognizing the pastor, she tells the officers it's all a mistake. Yeah, he lives right there and he would be watering their flowers. This is probably my fault. Okay. According to one of the officers, the woman also declines to identify herself, but Jennings is the only one who goes to jail even after Jennings' wife shows up with her husband's ID. Ten days later, after reviewing the 911 call, the body camera footage, and speaking with the officers, the chief of the Childersburg Police Department issued this statement, saying, as a result of my investigation, I have recommended to the municipal judge of the city of Childersburg that the warrant be dismissed. You have no doubt in your mind this was racial profiling on the part of the officers. Well, I think you look at the video, the evidence is clear that they believe What's the difference between a Pastor Jennings and, 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 his, and the neighbor beside a man and woman, black and white? And they believe her. The attorney for Michael Jennings says that his client doesn't hold any ill will against the woman who called police. After all, he says she was only doing what he was doing, looking out for a neighbor's home. But that same attorney says that Jennings will be filing a lawsuit against the Childersburg police.